Hello everyone, my name is Farooq and I am SAP FI Fury ODATA and Web Developer. In the following set of videos, we will be learning about SAP UFI and Fury related applications. The main intention of these videos is to get a clear idea about UFI and Fury applications. And even it doesn't matter whether you are a newbie or have a plan of learning UFI. And let me be clear before starting, so we are not concentrating much upon theory. So moreover, we will be concentrating upon practical knowledge. So let's start with the process. Be before uh, starting with the development process, you should be knowing few things. Uh, that is, pre you can consider these as in prerequisites. So you should be having basic knowledge, not a pro, just a basic knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And we need a tool to build our applications. That is, we, we will be using Eclipse as our tool. So first, let us start with the installation. And before installing Eclipse, uh, your system should have JDK platform. So don't worry about this installation. Uh, the, there are so many videos which can help you in installing JDK and Eclipse. Once you get installed with JDK and Eclipse, just launch Eclipse. You can choose the desired location to store applications. For Eclipse to work as an UFI development tool, you need to have few plugins. We can download these plugins in the following steps. Go to your browser and search for SAP UFI tools. In this, click on the first link. Here you can see Eclipse software sites. Based on your version of Eclipse, you can copy the link Now go back to Eclipse Click on help menu and install new softwares Click on add Provide any name and pro provide the link So now click on add You can see it is going to provide you with few SAP tools In this one what we need is UI development toolkit just click on this and next now again click on next and accept the license and finish it Now it is installed. If you want to see whether it is installed or no, go for again help and click on about Eclipse IDE. You can see in this section you have something called as SAP UFI installed. This shows that Eclipse has UFI plugin. Close it. With this, we have completed our setup. Now we will try to create a simple UFI application. There are two options to create a new application. Either you can go for Ctrl N, which is going to open your window to create a new application, or you can go for Files, New, and Other. It is going to open the same window where you have to search for SAP UFI Application Development and choose Application Project. Click on Next. Provide provide an appropriate application name. And there are two libraries which can be loaded initially. First one is sap.ui.commerce, which is mainly meant for desktops, and the other one is sap.yum, which which will support both desktop as well as mobiles. So we'll uncheck this, create an initial view, and click on finish. Now you can see a simple application has been created with UFI resources. You can see that sap.ui.commerce core libraries have been loaded. Index.html is our main page which is going to load our application. In index files we are loading SAP libraries that is resource sap.ui.co.js and initial library is sap.yum 
we will try to run this application now you might be getting a doubt how to execute this program UFI has given a beautiful option to run UFI application locally you don't have to configure any local servers it has an inbuilt server so right click on index file go for run as and choose web app preview now you can see it has created a local host if you want to execute the same program or same application in browser just copy the link and open your browser and paste it and you should not close this window if you close the window you cannot run on browser we will write something paragraph right and i'll say this is my first e wifi app and save it and refresh the browser now you can see it is appearing as this is my first uifi app this is just a simple html application with this we conclude our session thank you for watching the video we will meet in the next session